guys, welcome to the historical gaming series. This is a hobby project that I've put together combining two of uh, my big interests, gaming obviously, and history. So I've, um, I think I found the perfect game in uh, this here, Ultimate General Civil War, which is basically a RTS um, Civil War game that I found on sale over this last winter uh, market sale on Steam. So uh, without further ado, let's just jump in start the campaign saddle up um, I went through this uh, earlier today and basically uh, the first mission is a tutorial and we have here is the beginning this of the Civil War basically cannot endure permanently. Um, so the very beginning we've always dreamed of becoming a military officer like our father and, and we feel it's our destiny to serve our nation so we're basically rise, picking President, our attributes right now. Graduating from West Point that the state just of before the Civil War. By a we're picking our uh, attributes on this tree. Um, I'm going to go with the Game the of Thrones United model States. and be well-rounded. You either win or you die here. Uh, so I'm going to start out with... Uh, I'm going to go Lodgy just to have some organization for my army and some logistics and supply lines. Um, so here we have our military career we served in the Mexican-American War and now we're just picking what part of the military we served in I'm going to go infantry because you always need a strong backbone to any armor army excuse me um, next up we have basically after we're out of the army um, like I said I want to try to go for as well rounded as possible I plan on playing for the Confederacy, so we're going to need any kind of advantage we can get going again up against the Union Federal Forces here. Uh, I'm going to go business, just so I can have some extra economy and supply lines. Our supply lines are going to be critical here, battling a army that has better supply lines, better manpower, better material. Uh, I'm just going to keep the difficulty standard, uh, Brigadier General. And last but not least, we're going to enter our name. Uh, I'm going to go with Mac in honor of my English Bulldog. Uh, Longbeard. Mac Longbeard. As you can see, we have a discount of 7.5%. Our veteran cost is to get a 7.5% incentive, basically, on our vets. Our ammo, 10%. Um, we have one core. No enemy info. I'm going to use the advisor um, just because I'm not extremely familiar with this game yet. So our war has started. We've officially decided to secede from the Union. Our first assignment is to secure a small coastal fort on the bank of the Potomac. We have a vanguard here, and we're trying to eliminate the Union batteries while the fort is lightly guarded. Looks like the game's prompting me to watch out for Union forces in the woods. And they have uh, regiments marching up along the road to reinforce, so we really need to get moving here in this early stage of the game. Advance fast, like I just said, uh, before the fort is heavily reinforced, otherwise it's going to be tough. Reinforcements coming in a half hour. We have our three objectives, destroy battery A, B, and then finally capture the coastal fort. So, it's 1,500 men, 1,772. Need to detach some skirmishers. General provides valuable command bonuses, so he's got a radius. Um, Mac Longbeard's got this radius here that'll add buffs to my men. Um, I just want them to slow down their advance because we're moving pretty quick here. And I have a feeling there's going to be feds in these woods up ahead. Let's just zoom in, get right in the action. Oh, no, come on. I want these skirmishers out ahead of us. I don't know why they're not moving. The cav, they're going to secure our fleet. I 
don't want to cross this bridge here because I think it's just going to funnel me into whatever uh, Federals are over there. And look, we have 200 skirmishers coming right at us. I think they're charging. Oh, they're going to get shredded if they do this. Ranged attack is effective for quick weapons and unit skills. Okay. And we got hit. Like I said, they were going to be feds waiting in the woods. Um, I don't want them to chase too much. Hold their ground here. I need to get my men out of the river. Advance. Advance. Push up the hill. Give me my cab to try to flank these guys here. Let's try to have them turn on that. Get back up. Yeah. Charge. We have them on the run. They should be able to catch them out in the open in that field right there. Looks like they are. So charge is very aggressive move. Yep, they're dropping their numbers just like that. Look at them drink. Skirmishers paid for it. All right, now we need these guys here. Uh, I can't make them go double time. That kind of sucks. I'm gonna have these skirmishers come up and try to support Crocker. But otherwise, um, see food. Oh no no no! Don't combine. No. Oh, I wanted them to bring in their skirmishers. That whole fight. Oh, here, I have to click on the skirmishers that I'm attached there. Okay, Crocker fell back. Alright, that's good. Kemper, you need to fall back as well. Okay, looks like I'm taking too much time. Um, the Yankees are determined to defend the fort, but we have reinforcements, so. It's got an additional. You know, 1,700 men here. I'm going to have them cross the bridge and form a front on this eastern flank. Assuming that north is up <laughs> in this game. I'm going to try to flank these guys with Kepper's men. But they are going to move, I have a feeling. So let's get Hexamere to form a mid. Let's try to hit Chitlin. All right, let's advance on this farm because they're falling back. They're falling back fast. Uh, we'll form a front here at this farm with Kemper skirmishers. Oh, oh, come on, Crocker, what are you doing? <coughs> Reinforcements are moving up. I'm gonna need those logistics to, uh, or those supply lines to get to my men that have been fighting for a bit. Oh, look, we could catch the reinforcements coming in. We could try to catch them. This is risky. That's a, a thousand men getting attacked by three. Charge. Cavalry's gonna try to route them. Oh, God. This is either going to make it. No! I just lost so many cavalry. Charge, hook somewhere. I need Mac. We are inflicting heavy casualties, though. Oh, ooh. Halt, 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 please. We made them pull out. My men held their ground like I was hoping they would. Um, but I'm going to move Siegfried up and get Kemper on top of this small hill. Our reinforcements are still taking forever. Oh, man. That's bad. I lost half of my cavalry. I need to get in that circle. Let's try to get the skirmishers back up.
reinforcements are moving. I'm just going to have these guys double time it because I need them now. The skirmishers are still fighting the second Ohio. And I'm tempted to send in my cavalry again. But I'm going to hold off. Damn, we are getting shelled like crazy. Matt, get up here. Eximer, move in. Alright, my forces are just getting organized and in position. We're going to move up to the right and flank them. You know what, out of this fort. I just hope I didn't pay for it too dearly. Alright, let's move up. Because we have some Ohio regiments coming to meet us in the open field. But I want to flank. Move Crocker up. This is second Ohio is going to come back. You know they will. Alright, detached skirmishers. 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 I don't know why they're all facing the wrong way. Here we go. Skirmishers are coming up. Alright, Siegfried, get up here. Kemper, get up here. Eximir, take that left flank. Fire, fire. <laughs> Alright, they are falling back. Fire. My men are slowly moving in. Let's get these three up. They're moving to support. I need Kemper to halt and just shred them, please. Second Ohio is moving on. I'm surprised the third Ohio hasn't moved yet, but let's get the cab to move in. So they are forming up. Where are my supplies? Yes, get my men need supplies. First core. Alright, the fort is surrounded, basically. It's just a matter of I don't want to waste my cavalry yet. I'm gonna have them attack that battery. Next is gonna move up in support. destroyed. <laughs> I have a charge actually. Let's get into the fort because they have it uh, undefended right now on the right. We need to flank them hard. Right, get in, get in, get in. Double time it. Charge up the hill. And they're blocked from moving somehow. Oh no. Yeah, Calvary's gone. They fled. That's nice. The men are slowly getting routed. Supplies. So I need to charge, otherwise, they're going to take our supplies. And those are gone. Well, we are taking the fort, it looks like, at least. Alright, we 
have secured the fort. We're driving the Union forces out. Wish Hexinger to stop falling back. I need them to stop. They have to be exhausted. Hexinger. Yeah, they're out. Get out and support your men. We'll get Siegfried to help out Kemper. But otherwise, we need to hold this fort and capture these batteries because A is still up. So I'm going to have them charge it while they're running. And we're just going to form up on the fort now while we can. Get my skirmishers out on the outskirts of the fort. Hexamer fell apart. So I'm just losing too many men. Hold up. Uh, Alright, we secured the fort. So we secured the fort, but it appears we have some federal ships headed towards us to the coast. And of course, the feds are going to counterattack. Kill us some blue bellies. So we called for help. More troops are going to arrive. To support us. Just a matter of time. Okay. As you can see, we have the ironclads. We have our artillery just ranging in on them. We need to take them out. So range attack is affected. Yeah, we've seen that notification before. Um, I need some skirmishers again. Let me get them out. Where did these guys go? Here we go. So this push by the feds is going to be pretty big. And, um... Can't afford to lose too many men here. Our first action did not go so well. I don't know how far I want them to march out. This is, as you can see, there's 1,700 men there, 1,800. We don't have nearly as many. More than 1800, I have a feeling. Uh, and we have to hold the fort for two hours and 45 more minutes. Merit. Yeah, you need to hit that thing. Kill it. <clears throat> Alright, looks like we have some feds coming up the hill. Probably skirmishers trying to test this out. I need these guys to hold their ground. <clears throat> it's like, where are the rest of you? Looks like uh, Chet Lane's back. It's decimated force. He's got 71 men left. And I have 23. Captain Sam Cable. No. Damn. He got killed by the Ironclad. It's a shitty way to go. 
Kemper, where are you? Kemper. Call your boys back. You have 13. Call them back. We're slowly getting flanked here. I think I can afford to have some of my cannons supporting. Need a crush. Chat lane. Got just under two and a half hours to go. Still no reinforcements, so. Uh, Bernie. Fall back, fall back. Our last reserves, yes. All right, our men are coming. Um, and we need to move them in. Uh, they want us to flank, but I don't think that's gonna work. We have Allen, 583 men. We need them to get in over here and not get flanked by those damn feds. All right. They're gonna be my counter push. 600 men coming in, this, charging the battlements. Destroy them, Mac. Mac, what are you doing? Come on here, get up here. Oh. Move in, men. All right, we routed them. We need to hold. Kemper needs to hold his position. Hold your position, man. Up there, hold. Cause we have Terry coming to charge us now. Get in here and hold. Why are your men? Beautiful day in 1861. So we are holding this fort longer than I thought we would. So Kemper, I need you to fall back. Siegfried, you need to get up. My strategy here is just to rotate men in and out uh, until see they're charging. This is not good. This is not good. Hold your ground. Hold your ground. Hold your ground. Hold your ground. They just keep pumping their guys up. Oh no. Kemper, get in. You need to support. So much for that rest. Need Allen. Get his. Damn it, Major. How would you die? Those guys are routed. Um, they're about to get flanked. Turn. Face the enemy. This is going to get really bloody. Hold. This is not good. Siegfried falling back. They lost their commander. They're falling back as well. Bernie, fall back. Fall back. Fall back. There's 1,500 men. Jeez. All right, we need to hold this half of the fort. Up in the middle. Siegfried, get up here. I don't know why they're not attacking the artillery yet. They should be. And here they come. Here they come. Why are they not firing? Because they're reloading. Ooh, they lost over a hundred men there. Charging my cannon straight up. <laughs> These cannons need to cover their fall back. Blast them. Please blast them. They're reloading. No, they caught us. Fall back, fall back. Canfield's mounting up. All right. Path is blocked. We need 
Birdie over here. Alan. Alright, Longbeard's gonna move up. Form our mid. Alright, we drove them feds out of the fort, which is great. We still have the fort. Just over an hour and a half left. I'm surprised we stopped that attack because that was damn bloody. I need them to start shelling that. Excuse me. We're gonna force them to exhaust themselves coming over the fortifications and then down the hill into just a wall of steel and lead. That's gonna be my strategy for the rest of this def uh, defense here. Actually, we're holding them off. Might as well get the extra defense in the I just don't want to be stretched. I think we're in range of their cannons. Oh man, get more men forming up. Well, Nicholas has fallen back. Longbeard's got to get up. They need a morale boost. Cable, I know you're without your commander, but I need you to shell these guys. ground. Let's go. Get into the earthworks. As we get here. Let's cover. Let's shell the crap out of the feds. So far, this is working. I'm just worried about these guys in reserve coming to attack. They're going to be well rested. Morale's high, though. Conditions at 70%. These guys are going to rest it out. Alan's men. I need them to fall back. And then we're going to put Alan on the earthworks. We're just gonna rotate them up so they can get rested. 75, 73. There, attack the ironclad. Cable, destroy their middle. So far, so good. We have just over an hour left. I am actually surprised that uh, our defense is holding this long. I don't know why they're not assaulting us all out. They can just crush us. Unless they have no morale. They could have really low morale right now. I'm not sure where their commander is. Oh, here he is. Not with his men. That might be why we're winning. So I'm going to have Siegfried fall back, and Canfield is going to enter the Earthwork defenses. Bernie, you're going to move in support. One Ironclad is almost destroyed. Earthworks. 
just so they have some extra cover buffs while they recover. They need ammo. Sure, how do I get them ammo? We have no supply. Almost out of ammo. Regain. This is how this is why I lost that supply wagon early on. This is gonna hurt us. We could die in the last 30 minutes because we have no ammo. Yeah, we're getting really low. Need them to hold. Yes, hold fire. Want them to hold fire as well until they assault us. This might be the minute they need, the opportunity the Union needs to take this fort. We will see. The infantry's got plenty of ammo. They are rested, ready to go. So let's get them. Yep, here comes. Here comes that assault. Opening up on Burnham. Stop them in their tracks, please. Ah, oh, we missed. Fire. Schirmer, they're moving in. Good battle. Alright, we held them off. They have them stop their firing. So they assault again. That's what I'm gonna have to do. We have barely no supplies left, basically. I think are just a distraction. I haven't done much damage from what I can see. 30 minutes, and I think this is about to get crazy. Nicholas is moving up with his, looks like, some reserves. Deciding to form up, we need to kill him. Route Shermer and Route Battle. Under 15 minutes, and the Union forces haven't assaulted in a while, so they're either beating pretty poorly or they're trying to get me to make a mistake. I just want to push them out, so I'm going to have my reserves move out and over the fort. <laughs> this could be risky. Yep, they're falling back. Alright, time to hit Brooke. Show their fresh men what the Confederacy is all about.
bosses. Finish the mission or continue our fight. Uh, let's continue the fight. I want to knock these guys down a little bit. Looks like we pulled them into what we wanted here. We wanted a fight. To show them bluebellies what we're all about. right flank if you really wanted to. Kill them all. Terry's charging. Destroy them. Attack! Yes, they're, they're trying to soak up the middle. They are, Terry's losing men like crazy. Grant's coming in. Attack. As you can see, pretty responsive controls. Uh, I'm loving this. Why they're assaulting one unit at a time. Oh, Alan's running low on ammo. Just because we're running out of ammo, I think. Let's push them out. They're falling back. Let's go. We're moving. This is either going to be really stupid or really awesome. Of course, Nicholas is fleeing. Can't flee. Ah, you're almost out of ammo as well.
charge! I just want to route these guys so bad. Why are they spinning like that? No! Bernie, face these men. They will kill you. Grant surrendered. Alright. Let's get him to withdraw. Send them out of the map. Hold the ground. Where's Grant? Grant needs to withdraw. Bernie, you need to hold. They are completely out of ammo. They can fall back. We are almost all out of ammo. Everyone charge. Charge! Charge, men! They can't have any... Any morale whatsoever. They have to be so low. Not pretty panicked. Okay, not cool. Why is he over here? You're just gonna get destroyed. I don't know if I have any ammo for baby shit. But we are all out of ammo, so I'm just gonna have my men fall back and I will finish this battle. Victory! Alright, our strength. <sighs> Of course, feds had more men. Uh, they lost quite a bit. Over 60% of their men. We lost almost <laughs> the same thing, jeez. Goals. We got all the goals. Damn, look at these KDs. Ooh, Kemper. Oh, uh, man. Sorry, guys. Got two of my officers killed. Give me some promotions coming up. Got the Civil War Campaign Medal. Got some battle rewards, career points, rep plus three. We had 190 prisoners exchanged for 233 recruits. Not bad. Got some 45k out of that battle. So let's see here. The first Manassas campaign. One division, two brigades. Oh shit. I don't know what I'm buying here. Um, your officer is dead or severely wounded. I need to replace him with a new officer in the barracks. So, let's see. Officers obviously cost money. Let's get our forces. I'm gonna spend. Uh, I'm gonna put Melvin Poag. We'll get him in. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Cable, you have three guns. You need a captain. Ah, uh, man. Bring in Captain Gerald Bidwell. Ooh, it can be upgraded with a new skill? What is this? 
Logistics. Physical training. Uh, let's see. We need logistics for our cannon so they get more ammo. Select. Alright. I can buy another unit. Infantry brigade. A thousand soldiers. Farmer. Oh, alright, so I'm upgrading my... I see how, it, how this works. Weapon cost is eight grand. I want these guys. I need these guys outfitted. Create cost. Fifteen hundred men. I feel like I need more men here. Why can't I get vets? Ah, uh, I see. Vets are expensive. We'll go rookies and get another 500 men. Actually, what's another 1500 going to run me? 12 grand. Go 500. They've all got the Springfields, yes. Nice. We got three guns. Supply. Alright, so. First core. I'm gonna try to beat a, get an even thousand. Well, might as well go 1500 and 1500. Sir, yes, sir! Spend the money we have. Get some forces going here. Ooh, government. Close. Average recruits. This is my money. Got 35k. Let's look at my career. I have one career point that I can spend. Uh, where do I want to spend this thing? I have no medicine. I, I think I'm going to go with medicine. I just want to see this, though. Yeah, let's go medicine. Okay. I think I have my... Uh, my first division and my first core here for Mac Longbeard all squared away. Um, just want to say thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Um, and stay tuned for episode two.